It's just about back to school time, and that means we need some quick and easy meals uh, between after school activities. And here to give us a few ideas, of course, Angie Horkin from the Beef Council. Good morning. Good morning. And now we're starting to think about 30 minute meals mm -hmm. and things that you can put together quickly. What do you have for us? Right. Well, of course, I have ground beef recipes. Perfect. Because ground beef is so easy, so convenient, and so versatile. On our website, beeftips.com, we have hundreds of ground beef recipes, and most of them are 30 minutes or less. And that's what we need. This time of year exactly. when we're back to school and kids are back in sports. But this first recipe is really fun because it's a new twist on an old favorite. So they're called sloppy grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking a sloppy joe and combining it with a grilled cheese sandwich. So I just started oh. with some nice white bread and butter both the outsides of the pieces and then I browned ahead a one pound of lean ground beef sure. and then added a little bit of ketchup, brown sugar and mustard. So almost like you would for a sloppy joe. Exactly, just like you would for a sloppy joe. And then I put a quarter of the mixture into each sandwich mm -hmm. and then added shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Now, of course, you could use any cheese you would like, what you usually use for grilled cheese. And then just I did it on a griddle here a couple minutes per side. Now, the ground beef is all cooked ahead. So there's no so sauce just, in with the ground beef, so you don't have to worry about it being too soupy. Right. No, okay. there's just a little bit of that ketchup and the mustard and the brown That's sugar so to give it the sloppy joe flavor. So let's All cut right. into these, they look great. And that's a good way to add some protein to grilled cheese. Yes. Excellent. And now pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Who doesn't love pizza? Well, kids don't love pizza. Cheese steak pizza, and I used ground beef. And this is kind of different because it doesn't have a sauce on it, mm -hmm. but it's still really, really good. So I used a prepared pizza crust from okay. the supermarket, and then I browned up one pound of lean ground beef, and I just seasoned it with a little salt and pepper. Um, and then I topped it with some um, peppers and onions that I sauteed. So I sauteed okay. them at the same time as the ground beef. And you could do all that together in the same pan. Oh, do the ground beef and the peppers do and onions. Do the ground onions. beef and the peppers and onions all okay. together and save you on some dishes afterwards. <laughs> and then just top with a couple cups of shredded mozzarella so to give it that real cheese steaky sandwich flavor. And then bake it in a 400 degree oven about 10 minutes. And so this one doesn't have any sauce on it either. So no, it doesn't. It's just ready to go. It's just the ground beef, the sauteed vegetables, the peppers mm -hmm. and the onions, and the cheese on your prepared crust. So 30 minutes or less, and you've got a super delicious, super satisfying, full of protein dinner. And that's the other nice thing is even if you just have a pound of ground beef ready, there are so many options and things that you can do with it too. Exactly. So all of these recipes, of course, available at beeftips.com. We will also provide a link at nbc15.com. Happy back to school time, Angie. Yes, you too. <laughs>